Yes, Bryce, how can I help you? Hi, uh, I'm 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 a person with a disability. I'm also a Christian, and I I guess okay. my question is why uh, why did God or Allah in your case uh, uh, give people disabilities? Like why why do we have disabilities? Why do we uh, why 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 am I born with a mental disability? Okay, sure. So first thing I would say, there's a lot of things that we do as human beings that do influence uh, the uh, disabilities that appear in people when they're born. For instance, like you have people, women and you have a lot of people who would smoke while they're pregnant and that can have an influence on the baby, on the child. Uh, there are people who can have bad habits while they're pregnant or they can have things that causes also uh, generational uh, problematic things in the genes which also causes in the end disabilities. So to attribute these issues only to the creator, I would say is not fair uh, because there's many, many things that people do that also has an influence on the issues that happens to someone after their birth. So that's the first thing I'm going to say. Second thing I'm going to say is that this life is a test. And Allah knows what is an appropriate test for everyone. And the tests for people are different. My test is different than your test. It's different to someone else's test. And Allah knows you. He knows your nature. He created you. You're his servant. And he knows what tests you're able to handle and what tests I'm able to handle. And he is going to give you that that befits you. And the reason is this life is not an, an eternal life. This life is just, we exist here for only a period of time. So whichever uh, life we exist in or whichever circumstances that we have is the test that we, we're given. And then once we pass that, this is the real life that we have. Allah says that the akhirah is the hayawan. The, the akhirah is the real life. The akhirah is the eternal real life. This life is not, it's like, just like you're a traveler, you, you went, stayed for a second in a city and then moved to another city. And if you go a travel and spend two days in a city, you're not going to buy and build and do all of these things because you're just going to leave. You're not going to start a bank and, and no, you know, you're here for, for a very small period of time and you're going to leave somewhere else. So that test that Allah is giving you specifically is that. And the test that Allah is giving other people is different. Question is, are we going to succeed in that test or not? And there are people in way worse situations than you and me, for sure. Like today, and we observe them today. May Allah Azzawajal be with them, the, our brothers and sisters in, in, in Gaza, for example. And you've seen just the recently uh, circulated footage of people burning alive. You can see the father's trying to save the, the daughter and they're burning in the fire. You, you look at this and you think this is not real life. You think you're existing in a movie or something. But this is this, is this life. That there is good and evil, and there are evil people in this world. There are good people in, the, in this world. And this is what we will be tested with. Are we going to succeed in that test? And understand that this is not it. It's just a period of time, and I'm going to leave from here. And if I do the right thing, then I have succeeded. This is, I think, the mentality that everyone should have. I got you. Well, I, I guess my thing is that, like, like I, I know in, in the Bible or somewhere it says that that, that for me, uh, people with disabilities have sinned or something in the past life or something. I don't agree with that. Um, I don't know if it says that in the Quran, but I no. know that in the Bible or somewhere it says that. So I was just making sure it wasn't something that I did in the past life or something. No, 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 no. We don't. This is the thing. Uh, in Islam, unlike Christianity, uh, which gives you the idea of the original sin and you're suffering for the sin of Adam, we don't believe in that. As Muslims, we believe you come into this life with a clean slate. There's nothing that is done before that you are suffering the sins of or you're responsible. There's no such thing. In this life, you're only responsible for what you're doing right now. There is no previous life. Uh, and the next life is the eternal life, which is after resurrection. It's an actual existence on life. There's no previous life. There's no accountability that you're suffering for something. And this way, it makes no sense even. <laughs> you're like, I was in there. I don't remember that. I didn't do anything yeah. wrong. Why am I suffering for what these people are telling me that I'm, yeah. done, I'm never? Yeah, so, so it makes zero sense because it's not yeah. true. And the creator is a merciful God and he only holds you accountable for what you do and not for what other yeah. people do. Allah Azza wa says in the Quran, وَلَا تَزِرُ وَزِرَةٌ وَزِرَةٌ أُخْرَى A soul shall not bear the burden of another soul. You only bear the burden and responsibility of what you choose to do. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, I have a question. Do you guys believe that animals have souls? Yes. No, yeah, the animals do have souls. Yes. And, and yeah, that's, why, I, that's uh, something I've been struggling with. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean yeah, to no, interrupt. But no, no, no. That's no, why ahead, that's, uh, I, 
Thank you. Um, I've been struggling with that for a while because somebody that was like a Baptist or something told me that uh, that that uh, animals don't have souls and it really hurt me. Um, so I, I've been struggling with that for a while because I had a pet that died, but uh, a long time ago. And so when they told me that, it hurt. But I was just I was just making sure. Thank you. No, 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 no. Animals do have souls, hundred percent, and that's why even the Prophet told us uh, uh, that we cannot. We shouldn't uh, torture anything that has a soul or play games with it or kill it for sport. That's not something you can do. So in Islam, this idea that these things that people do with animals is completely uh, prohibited. And I was mentioning before this, this uh, story that the Prophet told us about, about a woman that locked a cat and didn't feed it and went to hellfire for doing that. And a woman that was living an evil life and, and she gave water to that dog from a well and Allah forgave her sins. Uh, so there's a, ve a very important uh, emphasis on a good treatment of animals in Islam. It's very important. And in paradise, this is the thing. Is that if we live this eternal life and do whatever we want. In paradise, Allah says, لَهُمْ فِيهَا For them, whatever they want. So if someone wanted to have a pet, a cat, a, this is nothing. Allah can do whatever uh, he, he wants. And he gives his servants whatever they desire in paradise. As long as, it's, uh, as, long as they did what they needed to do in this life. So uh, there are people, you. loved ones that we lose in this life. Actual human beings. But Allah reunites us with them in paradise. I see. As a reward um, uh, for for being patient. Yes, go ahead. I see. The other, the last question I have is, uh, has uh, have is, uh, um, you do you guys have like a baptism sort of thing, like like a re re a renew of life thing? Because I know in Christianity we have a baptism, um, mm -hmm. like where we uh where we go in the water, where they dunk us in the water and say, do you believe in the Lord and 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 ask questions and then we answer and then they dunk us in the water and there's like a renew of life. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. There is something called the Shahada, but the Shahada is a testimony of faith. And, and what it renews is the, the any sins that you ever did in your life. If you do the Shahada, you say that testimony of faith and become Muslim and practice, then Allah forgives all your previous sins. So you have a new, clean, clear slate that is free of any sins if you start uh, if you accept islam and start practicing islam into your life and it's also recommended that you take a full shower so you internally cleanse and also externally cl cleanse after you say that testimony of faith and that testimony of faith is to testify there's nothing worthy of worship except allah allah is the only god and that prophet muhammad والسلام, is his messenger and servant his prophet has been sent by him to you and to all mankind and all humanity so so that is uh, what we have in islam uh, you can you, people I use the term you. baptism. Yeah, we use the term shahada and use the term acceptance of faith. I see. Faith. I see. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. No problem. No problem. Give a read to the Quran. Have a blessed day. Any... You too. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Give a read to the Quran. If you got any more questions, you're welcome to come anytime. And we welcome you to yeah. Islam as we do uh, everyone else if that's I something that is uh, pleasing to you. All right, uh, Bryce. Thank you for your time. Bye. Have a good day. You too. You too.